uh, come up and tell his story. So, Kyle? Before we begin, I want to thank everybody on the quality team, everybody in the front row, Jeff, um, everybody, um, Roz, Lauren, especially Bob. Um, Bob, Bob uh, asked me to give this speech a couple, um, couple uh, months ago, and uh, I was very fortunate. And he followed up about a month later. He said, "Can I, you know, see your speech? I want to make sure everything's okay." So, um, Bob, looked, so Bob looked at it. You guys will understand why this is revision twelve. So, uh, <laughs> and it does have the blue dot on it. I promise. Um, sorry, Bob. So, I didn't see that revision. <laughs> so. <laughs> Before we get anything, I want to kind of ask you guys, um, how many of us here have a close friend or relative who has been affected by chronic disease? Show of hands. A lot of us. And, and of those, how many of those have, have been uh, treated with a Medtronic device? Still a lot. Now, how many, can the, how many people here, uh, Medtronic employees, have themselves have been treated with a Medtronic device? Right here. Hey, <laughs> so I'm here to give you my story. Why quality is important um, to me because I am not only a Medtronic employee now, I am also a Medtronic patient. And I was a Medtronic patient before I was a Medtronic employee. So if you guys can all see here, you see on the right side of my head, I've got a scar that goes from ear to ear, 122 stitches from ear to ear. It started, um, I was diagnosed at a very young age probably six or seven years old when they first noticed it, I had a condition called craniostenosis. It's when the, uh, the bones of my skull converge, and they converge inwards too. So I'm, not only did I have the uh, tumor growing in the front of my skull, it was also converging into my brain. So I would experience headaches um, frequently, loss of vision. Uh, it was not uh, something I wanted my mother to go through at that young age, um, myself obviously. but. Um, so the first surgery, the doctor wanted to wait um, until I was starting to grow a little bit more. And the first surgery, I was 13 years old, and they removed the, the front portion of the tumor in my skull, and that tumor came back within a month. Um, uh, so he said, let's wait a little more, let's wait a couple more years. So I was 16 years old in high school. I had another surgery, they removed it again, that tumor came back within three months. Um, so my neurosurgeon, uh, amazing doctor, Dr. Sir Solo. He said, we're going to wait until you're done growing and you're in your early 20s and we're going to get this once and for all. And I said, great. So he said, this is going to have to be when you're in college. So I went off to college, uh, Northern Arizona University. I uh, decided engineering as a career. And uh, my junior year, halfway through, I uh, had my surgery, December of 2011. So this is fairly recent. It's in the last two years. And what they did was, they cut out this entire front of my skull. I do not have a sinus cavity anymore. I lost all feeling in the left side of my head. So from this nose up all the way up to the top is all um, uh, cranial mesh. And here's where it gets to the fun part. Um, so I survived well with my surgery, obviously. I'm, I'm very blessed to, to have come out of that uh, the same person I was going in. And when my doctor did make that clear that, that uh, there was a chance, I, I wouldn't. So. Um, I graduated again this past May with a degree in mechanical engineering. And why why am I here? Why am I in the medical device industry? I started out automotive engineering. I, want, I thought I was working on cars. That sounded great. At my surgery, something hit me. They, they put this metal plate in my head. We're getting there. Don't worry. Um, and, and I thought, somebody's doing the engineering work behind this. Somebody out there is an engineer doing this. I want to be that person. Forget cars. I want to be helping people. I want to be the reason somebody else is better because somebody else is the reason that I am a well in life today. So I, I, I directed my studies towards biomedical, um, toward biomedical engineering, and um, I, I graduated and I threw my resume out, got a couple companies, St. Jude, Stryker, and then Medtronic. I, I heard that there's a, a co-op opening in uh, Santa Rosa and then Goleta. Submitted my resume and I got a call the next day, a gal named Wendy Hawker, I'm sure a lot of you know, and I said, okay, what, what products do you manufacture there in Goleta? Yada yada, the clip gun and all the uh, strata valves, hydrocephalus, amazing products. And um, 
She said, and then we do this titanium mesh. And I said, stop. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> so, called up my neurosurgeon, and Medtronic product made at this facility right here is the reason I am alive all today. Here I am, the intern. Um, pretty a uh, big honor speaking before the great Jeff Henderson. Um, so, but um, I, I'm a camp engineering co-op under Ken Wise, and I cannot tell you guys how appreciative I am of this opportunity to be here working and knowing that all of us are out here um, affecting people's lives. Because it's not just the engineers; it's everybody in this room. So I'm going to go out here. Miss, what's what's your name? Amy. Thank you. Thank you for making my life better. Hi. Lynn. Lynn, thank you for making my life better. Thank you, everyone. Tom, I'm going to talk a little bit about the importance of quality 